Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a scrolling news sticker to your blogger website. So here we can see we have this scrolling text over here. And when it reaches the end of the screen on the left side, it comes back from the right side over here. So I showed you how to design this in the previous video from scratch using HTML and CSS. And if you want to learn that, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And in this video, we will see how to add this to our blogger website. So let's get started. This is the blogger website where we're going to add the new sticker and uh, we are using a theme that comes by default with blogger. So if I go over here to theme, this is the theme that I'm using called Contempo. And uh, let's go ahead and add the new sticker to the top of this website. So let's go over here to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And here we can see this is the theme code of our website. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom and we will add the HTML just before the body ends. So we'll just make some space over here. Now we can add our HTML anywhere in the body because uh, we are setting a position of fixed to the new sticker. So it doesn't matter where we add the HTML, it will always be on the top of our website. So let's go to the source code and uh, I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And you can go ahead and change this text to whatever you want and uh, also this text over here. And once you update the text, you have to go over here to style.css and uh, here in the animation, you have to change uh, this value over here. Now in the previous video, I had shown you how to calculate what value to be added over here. So you can go ahead and watch that. And once you're done that, you can go ahead and copy this HTML from here. So I'll just copy this division and let's go back over here to the theme code and I'll just paste it over here. And here we can see we have the news container division. All right, now the next thing we need to do is add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file. And I'll just copy all this CSS from here. And uh, let's scroll up and go to the CSS of our theme code. And here we can see all the CSS. So let's go to the end of the CSS. So here we can see this is where the CSS ends. And I'll just go ahead and make some space over here and I'll just add a comment. So just type news ticker. And let's paste the CSS over here. All right, now let's go ahead and click on save and let's see whether it works. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And the new sticker is not being displayed. So let's scroll down. And here we can see the new sticker is being displayed and we need to have the correct Z index for it. And we also need to add a background color over here. So we can see that it has this transparent background color right now. So we have to add a background color and a Z index. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to our template code and let's go to the CSS. Right now here in the news container, let's add a Z index. So I'll just type Z index and I'll just set it to a high value. So I'll just type 1000 and we'll also set a background color of white and let's save it and let's refresh our website. And now we can see that the new sticker is being displayed and we have the correct Z index and the background color. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to shift everything else down. So we can see that it is touching the news container over here. So we have to have a margin top for all the other elements. So let's go back to our template code and let's go to the CSS and we will add a margin top to the body. So it will shift everything down. So let's go over here and uh, here I'll just type body and uh, I'll just add a margin top of 36 pixels and let's save it. And now we can see that we have this margin top for the body and uh, everything is being displayed correctly. And we have one problem over here. When we scroll up, we can see that there is uh, this header over here and it has a different styling. So we have to move that down a little bit as well. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, here we can see we have this uh, header and for that we have a top value of zero. So we have to set a top value of 36 pixels for this as well. So here we can see when we have the top value of 36 pixels it is being displayed correctly. So we have to add this value to our CSS. So first of all let's copy this selector from here center top container sticky and uh, we just paste it in our uh, theme code. So let's scroll down. So here I'll just paste the selector and uh, here we need to add a top value of 36 pixels. 
and let's go ahead and save it and let's refresh our page and let's scroll up and here we can see we have the correct position for the header let's go into a post and we can see that everything looks all right we don't have any problems so that's basically how you add a new sticker to your blogger website so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.